Our top story in this edition of We on Climate Tracker is about the two biggest challenges that we are dealing with today. The COVID-19 pandemic and climate change. What is the link between the two, you may wonder? A new peer-reviewed study has said that the rapidly warming Earth has emerged as an opportunity for viruses and there is increased probability of future pandemics. The study was published in the journal Nature. It says that global warming will be driving about 4,000 viruses to spread between mammals, including potential links between animals and human beings for the first time by 2070. Global warming will push animals to move away from hotter climates, causing forced migration, and that pattern will result in the species coming into contact for the first time. There are currently at least 10,000 viruses that have the capacity to cross over to humans and they are circulating silently among wild mammals, mostly in the depths of tropical forests. But as the temperatures keep rising, they are forcing the mammals to abandon their native habitats. And this, as per the study, will be leading to at least 15,000 new instances of viruses jumping between animals by 2070. Researchers say that the pathogen spillover will be driven by bats among the widely assumed causes for the COVID-19 pandemic. The reason is that bats can travel large distances. They can carry viruses that can affect humans and their health. Gregory Albury, a disease ecologist at the Georgetown University, is a co-author of the study. He says we have demonstrated a novel and potentially devastating mechanism for disease emergence that could threaten the health of animal populations in the future, which will most likely have ramifications for our health as well. Further adding, and I'm quoting, this work provides us with more incontrovertible evidence that the coming decades will not only be hotter, but sicker. Researchers that carried out the study says, saying that it is likely that the process has already begun and cannot be stopped, even if we collectively and quickly reduce carbon emissions. Now, they found that new contacts between different mammals could effectively double with first encounters occurring everywhere in the world, but particularly concentrated in tropical Africa and Southeast Asia. For more on this story, with us on the broadcast is Neil Wilson from Durban. He is an ecologist and conservation biologist. Hi, Neil. Thanks very much for being here with us. If you can begin by a further breaking down for us the key takeaways from this study. Hi. Hi. Good, uh, good day to you, to you and your listeners. Um, look, the... <laughs> The writing's been on the wall for decades, and this study is just one of many studies that show the disintegration of uh, ecosystems around the world by humans. And, uh, you know, if humans don't get the message now, I doubt whether they ever will. Um, the problem is with the hum, human psychology, um, short-term gains, maximum profits, treating nature and animals and plants as commodities, uh, greed, uh, you name it. They've been repeating themselves throughout history. So, yeah. The key takeaways of the, from this study, for me, don't just emphasize global warming and climate change, is what people are focusing on now all over the world. Uh, it's also about, it's very much about biodiversity, destruction, and degradation. <laughs> Right, and as we continue to assess uh, the ramifications of this study, of course, uh, uh, there have been estimates at this point as well that about $1 billion will be required to properly 
a look at uh, the impact of these linkages and to also counteract on these viral patterns. We're leaving it there for the moment, Neil Wilson. Thanks very much. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.